Hi, I'm Robin Miller, also known as the Mexican Beach Bum here in Rocky Point, Mexico. My website is MexicanBeachBum.com and my YouTube channel is Mexican Beach Bum TV. And I'm going to share with you the, uh, the juicer that I've been using, but first uh, I'm going to talk about the inspiration. A couple years ago, Eloy Gonzalez, who's, who's used to live here, he shared with Maria Alemani and I a movie, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. Eloy has juiced, he's lost weight, it's been, he runs marathons, he's so healthy, he looks fabulous. You know, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Well, I didn't do anything, Maria didn't do anything, and then just recently Maria said, hey, she's going to get on it, get on the juicing. She says, Robin, watch the movie, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. So I did, and then I watched the second one. And it was very inspirational about this guy from Australia goes across the United States and he teaches people about his juicing and what it does. And the one main thing, when I drink my juice, I know all those nutrients are going to my cells. And anything we can do to stay young and healthy, also in conjunction of what I've been doing, I got Serena Brown's book. She's also from Rocky Point and it's called 40 Teen and she says, a breakthrough guide to staying young. 40 is the new teen in this vibrant, fresh lifestyle. So there's a lot of information in here um, that Serena shares. So a lot of good nutritional information that Eloy has shared, the guy from Australia, you'll find him on YouTube, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, and then Serena Brown's book. So I have an old champion juicer I got like 23 years ago. So I've been using that, but then I wore it out. That's a masticating juicer where it has uh, the motor here, then it has, I don't know what it's called, sticks out here, and then the blade goes on that. So that's masticating. With this one, it's centrific centrifugal. So I'm going to share first how to put this together. I got it here at Sam's Club in Rocky Point, and it's very, very simple. I'm using the heck out of it, and a lot of people have asked me, Robin, what do you put in your recipes? What do you put in your juices? I don't know, a lot of stuff. Uh, if it's green, it goes in. So, or red, or purple. So I'm going to demonstrate how to just put it together first. Okay, then we'll start with, let me get this out of the way. This piece right here, that's the base. I always have it plugged in. And this is where it spins, the centrifugal. It um, spins through the basket and sends the juice out into your container. So that's that guy there. And I'm composting and doing some gardening. And by the way, people have said, oh, isn't juicing expensive? No, I'm not going out to eat. Um, I've been getting compliments. I'm looking better. And I'm just going to Sam's Club, Superlay, or the different uh, vegetable stores in town and getting different things that I can juice. And, but, I, but it's not that expensive, really, because if you don't go out to eat, you're saving money. This does cost money. I'm thinking about, on the average, 100 pesos a day because I make a pitcher, and it lasts two days. So for about 100 pesos a day, this is about 200 pesos, which is like $13 for two days. So it's, it's a money saver, and that's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But I do eat other things, too, like, you know, fish and, you know, some chicken and salads. So I recycle my bags. So the bags that you get from the from the um, vegetable store, as you're cleaning them up, you can put in the bag in this. This is for the, the stuff that comes out. I don't know what it's called. Pulp. I know we need pulp. But in this case, we just want straight juice. So that just goes on that side. Then we have the screen thing. Get yourself a toothbrush or a vegetable brush to be able to wash it. Pop that in there. Pop. And put on this guy. And put on that guy. Now it's ready. So this is the plunger, to, the pusher to put things down. And you, you know, I don't have to tell you, you don't want to stick your hand in there. This is the Oster juicer that came from Sam's here in Rocky Point, and it comes with all this and this guy right here. It's really handy and has the little indentation. 
and also it has this thing in the middle or on the side that when you're pouring out because it does get some foam and some little pieces but when you're pouring this into your pitcher it separates it and then later on I will use a strainer and put in some of the foam stuff and just you know push it down that's for my champion juicer but it's 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 it still lives on so I'm gonna push that in there that pushes more juice on okay that's how to put it together this is the parts I need put together safety's on this is two speeds I guess I can show you the front okay then I use this pitcher I don't know how big it is two liter one liter I don't know but it's that size of pitcher that's good for two days uh, but I also share with people when they come over to my house like oh that's good what's in it well there's a lot of stuff in it so I'm going to talk about the food. Okay, the food. First of all, the this I get from Sam's, and this I get from Superlay. And this is organic kale. They don't have it very often, but it's 34 pesos for this package. And this will be for one of these. Or, when I went to Sam's, this has five things. Uh, let's see, spinach, arugula, kale, I don't know what that is, and acelga. That's um, chard. I learned that learned that recently because some of the vegetable stores have this thing with leaves and it's chard. But this is really good. It's all fresh, clean, been washed. Well, I guess it's organic. Get organic when you can. But we have great fresh vegetables here at Rocky Point, vegetables and fruits. <gasps> oh, I don't have an apple. I ate it. Okay, well anyway, normally, normally I'll get an apple and I, and I was sick of preparing my fruits and vegetables tonight that I had to get an apple, but I didn't buy one. Oh well, I like to throw a lot of stuff in here. So anyway, I use this and then I get this at Sam. Yeah, you can juice broccoli. This is really good. So I'm going to show what I'm going to put in here and then, then I'll start juicing. I'll do things like uh, let's see. Well, first of all, you wash everything first. I'll bring, ah, bring this closer. You wash everything. And there's things that don't have to be peeled or anything. First, I gotta say, look at this. I'm gonna wash this in a couple. You know what? Maybe I'll use this for my next juicing. It's beautiful. I got this at Superlay. All this will go in the juicer and the beets. But what I do with the beets when I do wash them, I cut off this part because um, it's well it got cut off where did that go oh, here it went okay so my video had cut off and I was middle of showing this stuff isn't it beautiful so I'm gonna save this for my next juicing but it's beautiful so I cut off this part here what I do with these beads just cut off that because it's it's uh, these are kind of thick and I just don't want to overwork the, the juicer so um, but we'll juice this next time. So here I have, I prepare my vegetables, fruit, and you know, wash everything, get it all ready. And I've got zucchini, I have pineapple, oh that smells good. Um, I have some beets. This is new. I got this at Super Lay yesterday. The, the cactus, what's that called? prickly pear cactus, the fruit. So I cut that in half so I can taste it. It's got little seeds inside. And it's kind of bitter. Hmm. People make jam out of it, but you know what? I'm going to throw it in there anyway. Then I get this, uh, what's it, guava? No, not guava. Gaia, guayaba. I don't know what it's called. But this is sweet. And that's what it looks like on the inside. And these are fun. This Even the little stem things right there, just throw it on the juicer. Just, um, seeds the skin everything turmeric inside is the curcuma cur, curcumin the yellow part on the inside this is for inflammation and stuff and let's see tomatillos tomatillos oh i have um this is his little little jacket there so i just take the little jacket off and then tomatillo goes right into the juicer Jalapeno, this is a piece. Oh, God, that smells good. 
Um, some bell pepper that I just, um, you know, cut this open and then, you know, take the inside out. I got a couple limes, and yes, you just put the lime just like that, pop it in. It's going to get really noisy later. And I have more goodies. So I got carrots, I got celery over here, tomatillos. Oh, this guy here, chayote. It tastes good. I don't know. I really don't know what it is, but it's, I'm going to have to cut that. I'll cut it in half. Because uh, the juicer is really wide, but I'll have to cut that in half. And ginger, jengibre in um, Spanish. I said zucchini, and I'm sure I have more stuff. Then I have my little um, compost pile over here, and I got some tomatoes. I'll throw them in, and then cucumber, the celery. I have no idea what this is. I got this at Superlay, and if there's room in this um, batch of juice, I'll put it in. It looks like that on the bottom. Yellowy, yellow, greeny, I'm not really sure. But it's kept really well in the refrigerator for, for a few days. But yeah, he'll be, maybe he goes in next time. Cilantro is gonna go in today. And at this moment, I've already rinsed that out. I'm gonna get everything ready. And I'm going to start juicing. Okay, so it's going to get a little loud. So I'm going to just start throwing stuff in there. And I'm going to wash my hands because I've been touching the camera. And washing, um, washing vegetables. I don't know if you hear that outside. It's the guy that delivers bread. The pond guy. I haven't had any bread for, I don't know, a couple months. I used to go out run out there and get to the pond guy. And get bread. No more. I threw out all that stuff. The bread, the processed foods, you know, the box stuff. You know, things that I don't need. So, okay, I'm going to start with uh, this mixture with the kale. Superfood. Spinach, arugula, kale, acelga, which is chard, and berro. B-E-R-R-O. I have no idea what it is. It might be... I don't know. It's green. It's good. Okay. It's going to get loud. Now it's got two speeds. Low and high. And I think, I don't know where the instructions are, but just, uh, I'm going to put it on low for like the softer stuff. Most everything is soft. Um, or I like to put it on high. I don't know. I don't do this in any particular order. So here we go. when they bounce around they go, it goes fine you gotta get the lid on so I don't wear anything fancy I'm not wearing my ring and just very simple so but oh my gosh it's beautiful green okay it's gonna get loud again
use some time to keep the counter clean. I'll put a paper towel underneath because when I go to pour this into the pitcher, I just don't want a bunch of juice dripping on it. Oh, that escaped. But, oh, the little piece of leaf in there. That's okay. I'll get it later. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip and do some of these now. Let me get the cilantro and do that. single vegetable. I like to put in a lot because I want to cram a lot of stuff in. Oh, I know. I don't want to lose it. <coughs> okay. All right. Let's 
see how it separates through that little separator thing in the plastic. I had to go let the dogs out. Okay, here we're back to pouring this here. No, they want back in. Well, they're going to have to wait a minute. Okay, so just that little bit. I already have a half of a half of a pitcher, and that's beautiful green juice. I can get some orange stuff in there. superfood you put in the greens you can put in the apple to you know sweeten up a little bit more in this case I put in pineapple because like I said I, I ate my apple I don't know where it is it was not here <clears throat> okay and also sometimes I have to open this up and I'll get a bag compost bag and empty it out. It probably will make just like a like one of these and that's fine. But I want to clean it halfway through too. Pull that off. Cuz it gets stopped up sometimes. Cuz when this gets full. Well, I have this open mess so pull out all that. Look at all this stuff. It's just so dry. It's wet, but it, it's mostly dry. It uh, squeezes the juice right out of the vegetables. This has made a lot of juice so far. You know, it doesn't take that long. Just some prep time. And <clears throat> then when, when you clean it up, the machine, it does uh, nothing really in here. I don't need to clean that up. But some 
some people don't like to, uh, to clean it up. But that's part of that's part of what we do. Okay, put this back in there. Do that. And that. <coughs> we'll get that later. And this guy. And bring this back down. Alright, here we go. Ready for the, the lines? I do lemons too. Some kind of stuff. I'll do the fruit. Pack the fruit. This may or may not fill it up. Because there's a lot, there's foam in here. Yeah. This is plenty. Ooh, this is going to be yummy dinner. Oh, no. <clears throat> but here's what I do towards the end. Then I'll be, then I'm almost done with this video. I have a strainer. I bought one of those strainers at, um, um, at the, at the store that's kind of like a plastic I don't like it. It's it's movable. I want the strong one that's metal. And this <coughs> comes from my champion juicer. So I'm just going to mush this in there. Pour this in along with all the foam. And it'll come out, but I'm just going to push it more. There's more and more coming out. You know, I don't mind having some of the foam in there. I don't mind. I just mix, stir it up when I go to drink it. Anyway, so you get the idea. So what it's going to do, I have my compost, well, compost bag here. This is what I do with that, and I'll do this later. I want to at least mix it up and pour it in a glass. All right. So the compost scraps. So after I done, I've done pushing this out, so what I'll do sometimes is just scoop, scoop up the foam and then do this again. But <clears throat> what I'm doing here is I'm pushing it out. I'm getting, oh, all those nutrients, the juice. Normally I'd spend a little bit more time on it because I wanted all the drops out. But it gets to be pretty dry. And then I just put it in the... See, it's not dry yet, but that's okay. Yeah. Squeeze when I came out of it. I'll do, <coughs> I'll do that in a little bit. So I just take a spoon. I can also spoon off the foam, but in this case I'm just going to mix it up because I don't mind it. <clears throat> Depends on what you'd want. And <clears throat> yummy. 
20. Oh, this is going to be good. Hmm. You know what? <clears throat> it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Of course, I eat other things too, but... Oh, salud. The end, <clears throat> I think. Um, I'm just gonna rinse this off right away. It only takes maybe five minutes, and it's not that big a deal. Get a toothbrush. I got my toothbrush here with the strong bristles, and it that and the vegetable. Bristles. Okay, so I have the toothbrush. And I use this vegetable brush and just clean the screen out and rinse everything. And I'm going to squeeze some more out of this foam because I want every last drop. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I have been tracking what I've been doing and eating and juicing. And I ju juice every, well, drinking it every day. So I started August 30th. So I just start writing that down and... <laughs> My friend says, hey, can you take me to the store? Yes. Let's go to the vegetable store. Yeah. When I drive by a vegetable store, I got to go in. So it's a good new, it's a good addiction to have. So, uh, and it's not that expensive either. And I mentioned earlier, this is at Super Lady, the kale, 34 pesos. And then this one right here was like 68 pesos at Sam's. And it's already done. It, it, it's, you don't have to buy a bunch of stuff and then clean it. So, um... Oh, we could try we could try juicing one of these. How about that? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and all I'm gonna say is happy juicing. Thank you.